Valley ruins are the remnants of a house built in the 1870s by Thomas Gribble in what is now Gungahlin. It was a five-roomed stone house with a freestanding pisé or rammed earth room and another slab room adjoining the pisé. It is also believed there were two sheds and an outside pit toilet on his property. Thomas Gribble migrated from England in 1857 and Catherine Warren, his would-be wife, arrived three years later in 1860. They married in October that year and eventually had seven children. Gribble built himself a temporary homestead, and in 1878 he added the more permanent pizze room and extra features of this house. These actually made the valley a very large and luxurious house for the time, and community meetings and gatherings were often held there. Gribble was a very successful farmer with over 200 hectares of land. He grew wheat, maize and oats, and raised cattle and award-winning racehorses. He was one of the first farmers to use steam-powered machines in his farming, which is part of what made him so successful. These machines were the predecessors to our modern farming techniques. The Valley Ruins are now tended to by Bergman Anglican School, and can be viewed by the general public. Onlookers can see how the buildings of houses has progressed, and also how the ruins have aged through time. Ten years ago, the remnants of an iron bed could be seen on the grounds, fully intact. Today, this bed is a heap of rusted scrap metal. Gribble's building lasted many decades and three tenants before being damaged in a fire in the 1970s, nearly 100 years after it was built. The valley was an outstanding piece of workmanship that has stood the test of time and is still teaching us about Canberra in the 1800s.